up guys, so it's Wednesday morning and I've just had an early start at the gym, uh, did the usual routine, so mostly deadlifting and some single leg squats, and then had uh, 15 minutes in the sauna as well, so I'm trying to get used to the heat. Uh, this weekend is all about a long run, so it will be 45k some point. Originally it was planned for Sunday but I'm thinking it might be beneficial to run through the night to uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning because of that's most likely the time I'll be running the race on this part of the route so it might make sense to you know, do the route in the dark. That's the plan at the moment. I'm going to have to see how that actually works in real life. So anyway, I'm going to head home now Get some work done. Yo, what's up, guys? So it's Friday morning and I'm just heading out to do some hill work. Um, I've come to a mountain here called the Garth, which is, is pretty steep. It's probably the steepest one around here, so I'm going to do that today. Um, try and get some good climbing in. Um, and then I've got a day and a half to rest up for my long run. Not a bad view up here. And then there's a good climb as well. Um, if I remember right, it's about the same gradient as Penavan, so even though not as tall, it's a good, um, it's a good little training route right on my doorstep. Um, never going to come down and do this a few more times. I want to just practice that slow, steep climbing. That is going to be so important. That first 10k of the race, um, well, actually the first 10 miles of the race. Yo, what's up guys? So it's, it's 4am and I'm up dressed, ready to go on my long run. Yeah, I'm pretty tired this morning. Hopefully not this coffee and a, a bit of food will um, help wake me up before I start running. Uh, hopefully it'll all be worth it when I get to see that sunrise. So I'm on my way guys, made a bit of a rookie mistake in the car, I put the vest down on the seat and um, this bit was underneath and uh, it leaked all over my waterproof jacket, um, all over the inside of it. Um, so I was panicking a bit trying to um, dry it off, uh, it didn't really work but luckily checked in the boot and I had my spare Salomon one. Um, that could have been uh, a bit dodged because I think it is scheduled to rain later and it's cold now so I kind of needed to put it on as an extra layer. Um, anyway, I'm going to press on and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So, 
This hill is never ending. I don't know how many times I feel like I've got to the top and then you get at the top and then there's another climb. Um, so the legs are stiff today, a lot more than I'd uh, imagined or hoped for. Um, let's be honest, it's been a tough week. Um, so Tuesday we did hill reps. So uh, it was about 10 k's worth of hill reps and running. Um, then Thursday we did speed work. So it was um, we actually did nine 100 meter sprints and then a load of walking in between. Um, and then Friday morning I went out and climbed up the Garth. To be fair, that was slow. That was just a walk, but. Um, yeah, it has been a tough week and I'm going to take it really easy today. So it might just mean a bit more walking or a slower pace than normal, but... So there'll be two benefits to that, I guess. More time on my feet, which is obviously very useful. And also, considering this is the second half of the race I'm on now, to go into this part of the race, this part of the route, on tired legs already, give me a pretty good indication of what it'll feel like on the day so I don't know silver linings and all that yo what's up guys so I'm 30k in and I've just got to Caffilly see the castle um, it's 10 o'clock and the 10k starting so I'm gonna make my way down to the road and see if I can see any Harriers or any Caffilly runners Yo, what's up guys? So I am 35k in now and I'm just getting to the top of Caffilly Mountain. Um, so I stopped, ran uh, part of the Caffilly 10k route, got some free water, um, high-fived a load of people. So now I need to keep on with my journey. Um, so 10 left to go and only one serious climb left and then a kind of medium climb. Uh, the calf, right calf, has been tight all day. There have been a few times when I've been able to run okay, but just need to take it slow and uh, make sure I don't do anything stupid. Yo, what's up guys? So, um, what am I on now? 41k. Um, so I've got a few more to go. Um, it was going really well until the downhill back there and now my calves are feeling pretty tight. The right one, right one's feeling tight. Too fair though, that was tight when I started this morning. The fact I've managed to get 40k out of them is, is pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna just walk, luckily there's a hill here so I'm going to get to walk for a bit um, and then hopefully just a gentle jog in to finish but um, I've got loads of confidence from today because I've had absolutely no knee pain and that's always been the thing that's plagued me uh, so 40k, not a hint of knee issues um, the calves, well they just need to be rested Anyway, so I've got a bit of a climb ahead of me. Um, uh, it's 
somewhere up there. Um, doesn't look that steep, but it goes on for ages. And I'm gonna have to have a look at the map now because I can't remember the the right turn off. Right, so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's me done for this week. Um, I appreciate you checking it out and um, yeah please subscribe I'll be back next week for a recovery week so lots of sitting around and easy gentle jogs see you later